Hey guys, it's me, Jennifer, with HealthyCraftyMom.com. Let's hope this video goes better than the last one. I literally coughed through the entire intro trying to um, drink my coffee and spilled it all over me. So if you see like little brown spots, that's what that is. Um, I just thought I would knock out a bunch of videos right now while I am waiting for my sister-in-law at the doctor. And since we are at the doctor and Lucas usually has his doctor's appointments, um, about this time, I thought it was a good opportunity to make and post our three to six month video. So with that being said, we're going to be talking about all things three to six months with my second baby. And, um, let's go ahead and get into the video. So today's video is sponsored by Tiny Toddlers. They are an online clothing boutique whose motto is no child left behind. They donate 20% of their uh, revenue towards programs uh, designed to help with orphanages and child neglect and abuse. So if that's a sub, uh, company that you would love to support I have their website and my discount code down below they also have things for um toddler they have things for like all ages so babies toddlers they even have a mom's clothing line and a mommy and me I think they call it mom and mini clothing line as well so they have stuff for literally everybody so go ahead, click that link down below and go check them out. Um, with that being said, like I said, we're at the doctor for them. Usually, I'm at the doctor about this time of year for his appointments. My parents got COVID, so we had to wait two weeks on one of his appointments. So, they're all closer to, like, the next month. So, like, his six-month appointment was usually seven. And so, because of that... Uh, his doctor wanted to move it back to where it was supposed to be so um keep in mind that um he did go down percentiles because on weight and height because of that um also it was first thing in the morning so he did not eat the other thing we talked about at his doctor's appointment was rolling over um sorry these allergies um at his two-month appointment, he rolled from his belly to his back, but he still won't roll from his back to his belly. He will be on his tummy time mat on his back and be playing, and then when he wants to roll over, he'll grab the, um, like, he cheats. Like, he grabs the little uh, rod or whatever on the side and pulls himself around. So, um... We are kind of concerned about him rolling over, um, but he is sitting up. Um, obviously, we have to put him in a sitting position, but he can sit up by himself. Uh, for the most part, he'll be like lying back like in his bathtub, and he'll sit himself up and grab his bath toys and start chewing on them. So, um, uh, he's also about to start crawling, so... Um, his doctor did say there are just some kids that don't roll over, um, and he could be one of them, and, um, he has his flu booster shot, um, next week, so, it might be some, it is a nurse's appointment, but it might be something that the doctor does come in real fast and talk about, or the nurse goes and talks to the doctor about and asks, um, but yeah, so with all that being said, that is where Little Man is developmentally. He loves to talk and coo. So I will put that right here. He is so cute. And um, 
with that being said, let's go start getting into products. So, um, the first product that we use is the Fisher Ply Price Sit and Play. We actually use that as kind of a high chair. Um, our chairs in her house are really low, so it's just really awkward to um, feed him in a regular high chair. So we'll just put our sit and play on our couch and just sit in front of him and feed him. Sometimes I'll sit on the carpet too, just depending on how wiggly and upset and fussy he is. Um, his, um, so we do use that for that. He also has a few toys that he plays with on that. So I will link those down below as well. And then, um, yeah, so, um, where was I? So, as for feeding, because weight was a concern, we do feed him, we're working on feeding him three times a day. He is still only getting one bottle and being breastfed for the rest of the time, but he's not being fed through a bottle anymore. He, uh, at his doctor's appointment, his six month appointment, they moved him to a sippy cup. But I believe there are some that you can move them up as early as four months. But like I said, we were a little bit late on the doctor's appointments. It's not something she talked about at his three month appointments. And, and honestly, he just wasn't eating from his bottle. So that was really the ultimate factor in switching to the sippy cup that we use. And I will link that down below. Um, we use the Munchkin hot and pulled spoons for him because we don't have a, uh, like a milk, a bottle warmer. So we can't use the bottle warmer for his food, which means that, um, sorry, I get distracted by all these people coming out of the building. So, um, I keep like, oh, is that my sister-in-law and her kids? Is that them? So, um, I'll link the sippy cup down below as well as the bowls that I got. I got them from Target, but, um, I believe I saw them on Amazon as well. So I'll probably link it, um, to Amazon just cause it's cheaper and, um, not all stores have them. So that'll just be kind of a lot easier for you guys. So you guys can find all this stuff in one place. Um, so as for his feeding schedule, um, I'll breastfeed him in the morning. An hour later, we usually give him oatmeal. Um, she said rice cereal is fine. I just, um, his sister's doctor, because I do have different pediatricians, I don't like hers, which is another video. I don't remember if I posted it. <coughs> <coughs> I don't remember if I posted that video or not, so. But that's um, an entire another video um, with everything that's going on. But we just got the rest of her results, so. Um, and her doctor's appointment is tomorrow, so that should be coming up soon. Um, I'm sorry, I spilled coffee on me. I already said that, but I got it in my hair. So now I just keep trying to get it out, like brushing my hair with my fingers. I thought I had a brush in here and I can't find it. I finally threw that brush away that was broken. Go me, yay. I have a hard time. I will throw things away and then refine them later. Like my husband, I swear, takes things out of the trash can because he thinks our daughter <laughs> threw them into the trash but anyways which is kind of gross but he washes them so that makes it a little less gross um so with all that um being said let's go ahead and get into toys so i already mentioned the sit and play he also has this other toy i don't remember the name um i'll just put toy number two and um, link it down below. 
but um yeah <laughs> apparently they forgot a person that needed to be at this appointment <sighs> um so they're all shouting that she got here that's what all that noise was about Which I thought, like, the entire family wasn't allowed, but maybe if more than one of them are having a doctor's appointment, it's different. Alright, so with that being said, let's go ahead and... So, yeah, number two is his favorite toy. It has, like, these little crunchy flags on it. He can spin around. I do need to raise up the seat. I am... Right now it's a little low. It um, probably is not good for his knees at the setting it is. So I need to do that when I get home. But um, today, you know, mom life not going as planned, you know. Uh, so yeah, there is that going on. Um, my husband is kind of a pushover so um that is what all the uh everything going on is about um but that's another video too i have lots of video ideas today um because i need to do like a cyber monday like it's getting like christmas list type video out as well and then see if we posted about um madeline because I know I made the video and then I think I deleted it because I had to film it in the bathroom to get peace and quiet and like my entire face just had like this red tint to it. It looked awful and terrible and then Madeline came in in the middle and she was red too. So anyways back to toys. So while he's playing in that, there are, like, a lot of little toy attachments that he likes to play with. Um, he also has two favorite rattles, which I'll post. And then I'll also post, um, his, um, play gym down below as well. They have more people coming in. It is so busy today. I'm glad we got here early. Um, so, Yeah. And that I'm not allowed in. I literally hate crowds. I used to be fine with them. I don't know what happened. I got older and then just like I remember going to Black Friday with my husband like several years ago and just being like, oh my god, like there are too many people here. I cannot stand it. And I'd gone before like to other targets on Black Friday and was fine. But this was like before we were mar married, so it was like almost three, four years ago, something like that. <laughs> almost four years ago. I was like, how long have we been married? So, man, I have been ranting a lot in this video. So, uh, back to Lucas. Uh, those are all his toys. Um, what we used to feed him. I honestly just cannot think of anything else my husband did call so if I forgot something just let me know in the comments below and I will answer them I'll have all those links for you thank you tiny toddler again for sponsoring today's video if you like today's video be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye